Hello everybody and welcome to my monthly Vietnam update. April, what a difficult month that was. Similar to the sky above me, grey and miserable. Anyway, the Vietnam index uh, dropped by minus 8.4%, bringing the year-to-day performance to minus 8.8%. Until the end of March, we did extremely well for this year and were up almost 6% and outperformed the market and most, if not all, of our peers. But unfortunately, our portfolio also suffered in this correction and the, our NAV declined by minus 5.9%, which brings our year-to-day performance to minus 0.9%, according to internal estimates. Hi, my name is Andreas Vogelsanger. I'm the CEO of the AFC Vietnam Fund. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and switch on the bell so you don't miss any uploads. The reason for April's correction in the Vietnamese stock market is several fold. On one hand, the stock market held up impressively well over the past few months, despite global volatility. But short term sentiment started turning negative at the beginning of the months due to increased inflation pressure and hence higher interest rate expectations and the ongoing investigations in, of manipulation of the real estate and stock markets didn't really help. All this led to a sell-off which triggered many marching calls, accelerating the decline and hence pushed down the indices sharply lower. The Fun Ec Vietnam ETF, for example, uh, is now down minus 20% year to date. From a technical angle, it looks like this correction could come to an end, given the strong support levels. For the first time uh, in two years, the RSI, the Relative Strength Index, shows an oversold condition after many inexperienced investors had to sell their highly leveraged positions. Also, the valuation with a PE of around 15 times now looks very attractive, combined with the latest upbeat GDP growth forecast from the IMF um, of around 6% for 2022, despite the current turmo turmoil, and 7.2% for 2023. Also, their 2022 inflation forecast is moderate at 3.8% and 3.2% for 2023. The average earnings growth of listed Vietnamese companies is expected to be around 20% in 2022, which would bring the forward PE of the Vietnam index to a very attractive 12 times. On a trailing basis, the Vietnam index is trading on its lower band over the past, past six years. And we mentioned in our previous uh, reports, we believe that the insurance sector will benefit from rising interest rate environment. And year to date, this sector outperformed the VN index by over 14%. And given our positive view uh, in the AFC Vietnam Fund, our exposure to this sector is around 25%. But we also have a very positive view on the garment sector and the seafood sector. The seafood sector in Vietnam benefited from strong demand out of Europe, triggered by EU sanctions on Russian goods, including seafood such as catfish and shrimps. Given that Vietnam has a free trade agreement in place with Europe since late 2020, some companies in Vietnam are significantly benefiting from this increased European demand. China's zero COVID policy forced many garment factories in China to shut down completely or to reduce its production capacity. Due to Vietnam's much more liberal COVID-19 policy, opening up its economy completely, many garment orders were redirected from China to Vietnam. Given that Vietnam, that the Chinese garment industry is much bigger than Vietnam, only uh, it needs a small shift in production from China to Vietnam in order to make a significant impact. 
Often large brands such as Nike or Adidas have production facilities in both countries and they can easily shift part of the production from China to Vietnam if they want. In this slide you can see the performance of the AFC Vietnam Fund versus the Vietnam Index as of March 2022 uh, with the latest official NAV numbers included. Our performance since inception is up plus 273%, uh, which brings the analyzed performance uh, to 17.3% per annum. The sharp ratio was 1.2, which means we didn't take excessive, excessive risk to, in order to achieve that performance. The P ratio was 11.9 times, versus the market was around 15 times. The price book ratio is 1.9 times and we have a very chunky dividend yield of around 3.4 times. As a result of the relaxing COVID-19 restrictions in Southeast Asia, there's a huge surge in travel bookings and a surge in prices across the region. Vietnam's long weekend, uh, which had just have been passed to celebrate the reunification day on 30th of April and Labor Day on the 1st of May, have seen domestic tourism destinations become fully booked. Also, when you look at Ho Chi Minh, life is definitely back, with buzzing street life, streets are full of people, uh, jammed with cars, motorbikes, and the coffee shops and restaurants are finally lively again. I believe that this sharp correction in, in April offers a great buying opportunity for Vietnam. Given that the macroeconomic picture for Vietnam is still intact and the outlook is bright with GDP for growth forecasts between 6% to 8% for the next 5 to 10 years, I think this could be a very good idea to get some exposure to Vietnam if you haven't done so yet. Please feel free to contact me directly should you wish to discuss Vietnam in more details. My email address is av at asiafrontiercapital.com av at asiafrontiercapital.com Thank you very much for listening and I'm looking forward to hearing you or seeing you on my next Vietnam report in one month's time.